let's just start by saying experience travel is not expensive luxury travel is how, how to travel Lamu on a budget watch this video you see all your instagram influencers going to Lamu and you think it's expensive well today i'm gonna show you tricks on how to go to Lamu and avoid the hundred dollar flight ticket and just book a bus for twenty dollars watch this video and like comment and subscribe support the channel on paypal patreon send wave and just to if you resonate with my content and you want to support my content so that you can afford to show you this kind of experiences and just to be able to do guys my name is Kemto Bear and in today's video we're going to talk about how much it costs to travel to Lamu Kenya and a little bit of a vlog so guys currently as you can see I'm sitting pretty in Lamu Kenya Lamu old town Kenya it's actually a historical old town it's one of the oldest town in Kenya not much has changed so I get a lot of questions of how I travel but before we start before I tell you all the gist, all the tea of how much it costs to travel to Kenya, <laughs> to Lamu, Kenya, actually, give this video a big thumbs up, support the channel on PayPal, Patreon, Western Union, SendWave, all the good stuff. Links will be down below or you can just use my PayPal email address here and also support me on Patreon and all those good stuff because from here ends phones. I'm gonna be doing a patreon like travel guide for you guys like a one-on-one -on -one. you can schedule a zoom call video call one-on-one -on -one with me so guys before doing all that you know i'm currently in lamu i've been in lamu for five over five visit i've traveled by bus i've traveled by flight guys and I always get this question is Lamu safe enough to travel by road guys I attest it is I've traveled two times right now by road from Nairobi to Lamu and I'll tell you why and before that please catch up on all my Lamu vlogs I've put them on a playlist you click here on an icon or watch this video till the end you see on the end screen there's a playlist Lamu island playlist all my vlogs are there so catch up on those vlogs they are late they are awesome and yeah so let's get on we're going to talk about flights <clears throat> if that's what you want we're going to talk about the budget like budget travel experience travel we're going to talk all of it and i'm going to tell you about flights fare the cost the bus fare cost which bus to book we are going to also talk about accommodation. Accommodation varies. I've been to $40 hotel rooms and service apartments. I've been to all of them. And they are like, I have like Airbnb host suite who I can highly recommend. Highly, highly, highly recommend. The internal travel, the activities you can do here while you are here. There's so many activities apart from the beach. There are so many activities you can do actually here and the total of everything costs everything. I'm going to put it all for you to see. 
do you know like Lamu means of transportation is by boats because they actually know like no roads they actually know cars here yeah. so boats and donkeys and also another thing i'm gonna be talking about how can i forget food so the this is actually the ultimate guide to traveling when you have no money or you have money i've had so many questions related to travel guys I've got so many DMs, emails telling me how can how do you afford to travel? How do I afford to do this? How do I afford, why I travel? How I manage to travel? Where I have traveled to? And a few other curious questions about travel. Yeah, and after a while, I've come up with two personal conclusions. First, perceive traveling to be so expensive. And second, others are just afraid to travel on their own alone. Just like anything else in life, if your why reason for traveling is strong enough, you will, have, you will find a way to do it. You make it a priority and do whatever it takes to make it happen. So let's dive in by ways you can come to Lamu from Nairobi. So there are two ways, actually, or three ways. But the, I'll tell you the ways that I've traveled with. I've traveled by flight. So you take a flight from Wilson Airport, uh, I've flown with uh, Skyward Express or Fly 540 or Jumbo Jet. Actually, they are flying to to Lamu, straight from Nairobi to Lamu. So the flight will actually cost at around 130 USD. That's like 14,000 Kenyan shillings, the cheapest I've paid to and fro. So that will be 14,000 Kenyan shillings and the flight is usually one hour yeah one hour to most or sometimes one hour and 15 minutes if it's gonna stop over in malindi so another way you can come to lamu is by bus by bus it can take it varies but mostly if you don't have any stops it usually takes um 12 hours but there's a time i took 16 hours one way so by bus it's four thousand kenyan shillings to and fro so that is one way it's around two thousand kenyan shillings in usd is around 37 usd to and fro use the bus services i use from nairobi to to lamu i used bus car and they are on accra road actually so that is that's what it is but so when you come by flight if you're coming by flight uh it will you'll have to alight at manda airport and then take another boat from there most hotels like the hotels that i've used before like eg petley inns they they usually have a free airport transfer from manda airport to to the lamu old town so another way is uh, if you're coming by bus by road you'll use the garissa road which is much faster than the mombasa to Lamu Road, which you will alight at Mokoe and take another boat from Mokoe to up to here, which prices varies, but it's not more than five USD from from where the the bus will you know, leave you at Mokoe. Watch my video, my vlogs to see those videos, guys. So another thing is about accommodation. Accommodation varies and uh, if you're traveling for experience, you can use like guest houses, lodgings, there, there are varies. There are prices, there are different prices. So the cheapest I've paid and which is very uncomfortable is around 40 USD. That's 4,000 Kenya shillings. And I'll show you like all the links will be on the description down below of the Airbnb I'm talking about because all this Airbnb like Petley is in it's on the Airbnb site and they have good service they are clean they're efficient so that like this hotel room they'll cost around 4,000 with a decent bathroom and it's just right at the center of Lamu Old Town and you can actually go anywhere so the reason why i like staying at lamu old town is because you are connected to everything with every restaurant and it's much fair the prices are much fairer than when you're in shella actually when you're in shella you have to 
like food is really expensive and accommodation also is over from a hundred dollars and above unless you're traveling with a group of people then you can like rent a villa but for me like if you want to travel on a budget i will suggest you stay at lamol town and then you can jet off to shella because it's about with a speed what is about 20 minutes to shella so let's talk about uh, the highest you can pay like if you want a service apartment and then you can hire a chef like the apartment i'm in right now it will be on the description down below it's a hundred dollars per night but it's a two bedroom and then you can cook on your own or you can hire a chef which coming to hire a chef when you hire a chef for a full day that is food uh, breakfast lunch and dinner it will cost you three thousand and pay like the chef three thousand for his labor service and you'll have to buy your groceries and produce and you can always get uh the the airbnb host will like guide you around that's why you have to use dow tours services down on instagram they'll guide you they'll buy produce for you because the market is just or you can go alone to the market and buy the produce that you want there's one supermarket and other local shows that there's one supermarket that has almost everything the creams the everything they have it or you can just tell the the you can just tell the chef to come with the produce and then you can pay him for the extra produce so that's three thousand so when you're coming with like with a group of people and you're in a two bedroom but you can all divide by four and each of you can be paying how much i think 25 dollars because it's a two bedroom and actually this is where i am right now and then another thing is about internal travel you need like 20 usd that's like 2000 kenyan shillings per trip like to and fro for to going to shela or going to manda you need like 2000 1000 or going 1000 coming back and the trip is surely it's around 20 10 minutes by speedboat to go to manda from lamu old town and the internal travel you basically need like spending money so i've talked about so you can just times you can just time the prices i'm giving you per night for example for accommodation you can get a 40 usd 40 or 37 usd a night so if you're staying for five nights that's like you need twenty thousand for five nights and if you're uh, if you're staying for a hundred dollar that's like you need do the math do the math okay i'm just telling you prices per night because i don't know how long you want to travel to lamb so yeah so spending money you need like for food and things to buy miscellaneous you need like thirty thousand if you're staying for like five days and more you need like thirty thousand kenyan shillings to buy groceries or to eat out guys i'll suggest like if you're in lamo old town and you're on a budget you can eat actually at mangrove the local restaurant they have really fresh really good food they have lobsters they have catch fish of, fish of the day catch of the day they grill they have really good food and the food costs they are um, six dollars that's like six hundred dollars plus the drink you're drinking like the drink their drinks are like two hundred dollars so uh, two dollars two hundred kenyan shillings they are really affordable but if you want high-end like places to eat like um house the food of the food is actually around twenty dollars to eat like a full course meal mm. so yeah you are covered on that or the best way if you are if you have money to spare i will suggest you hire a chef that way you get to enjoy the place much more because uh, um the restaurants are not that many so i feel like many people just hire a chef because it's much more manageable and if it's three thousand it doesn't matter how, how many group of people you are it's just three thousand you pay the chef for the manual labor for cooking for breakfast lunch and dinner so no matter how if you like for example a group of four just divide with each other 
so that's that and then the activities let's talk about activities the most common activity and the most common activity that you shouldn't leave Lamu without doing is the Dao Dao. Is it called Dao? Dao. Da. 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 Sunset Cruise. You can do private. For private, it's one to four people. Or you can do a joining. But it's actually, um, joining is really hard because people like like private things so if you are one to, a group of one to four people it's six thousand kenyan shillings for a sunset cruise and you can hire like follow this page online they are the best at dow price dow sunset cruise picnics and all those good things so it's six thousand kenyan shillings so that's like 60 usd so sunset cruise is two hours so two hours is 60 usd for a full day trip private one to four people is fifteen thousand kenyan shillings full day trip meaning from sunrise to sunset uh plus snacks it, it also have like swahili snacks and all those good stuff so that's it for like for everything for if you're ever in lamo contact me or like i'll tell you the details uh so that's it guys i feel like i've covered everything if there's any call anything you want to know more let me know in the comment section but actually if you're going to eat outside on the local restaurants food is really like on a budget I, i'll recommend mangrove because they really have good food and fresh food that's the key and when you are in shella like luxury eating you go you can eat at pepon peponi have the best 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 food but it's on a higher budget about activities another activity you can do is don't forget like you know lamo is in the unesco world heritage so don't forget to go like on a Lamu old town that's a must if you're first time visiting here or if you visited Lamu before and you've not gone on a Lamu old town tour you need to do that and it's actually really a small town it will take you only one hour to walk so yeah Lamu old town trip will be like three thousand so i'm not saying it's possible to travel anywhere in the world with almost no money i used to be like how will i travel the world with no money but i found some trip tips and hacks but for that detailed video it's gonna be on my patreon or you can book me on my patreon to explain to you all the tips and hack of what i do <laughs> this again depends on how you like to travel if you are the type that you can stay on a on a um, local farm or share a room with a stranger camp in a low cost hostel eat at a local restaurant hitch hitch like hitch like and pack light you will travel more and get more memorable experiences there are many tools you can use the online online ones that I've used is Airbnb and Booking.com. There's also couch surfing, but I've not yet tried that, but soon will. And also Google your flights. That said, it does not mean you just sit sit back and wait to travel. If you tend to fly, take a bus or train, planning ahead and saving will have to be a priority. Traveling has really inspired me a lot and seeing other Kenyan travelers travel, it has really inspired me a lot. Just went further ahead and shown me that you don't, ne you don't necessarily need to fly to have a great experience. There's actually a lot to see both locally and regionally. If only, if only you have the desire to move and explore. So yeah guys that's it i hope this video is short and sweet and with details and the prizes all the dms i've been getting on the prizes which bus i take i hope you've seen and uh, i wish you um happy travels just remember experience traveling is not expensive luxury trans 
luxury travel is and until we can afford to travel luxury experience it is and don't forget to subscribe like and comment and follow me on my instagram page kento bayam and we're on the road to 30,000 subscribers thank you so much k tribe be a part of the k tribe by just simply subscribing it's free it's lit but that's it guys yeah and i'll finish the video by saying the goal my goal 2022 is that i have the freedom to go anywhere i want covid aside in this world and know that i'm able to support myself i not feel any financial restrictions and until next time watch my lamo vlogs they will pop up on the screen subscribe and watch the best youtube recommended video until next time bye